Hi everyone, this is Jar Hiker here. We're here to do a review on the Kelty Comanche 5600. This backpack was seen in my gear walkthrough. A couple of people asked me to do the review, so I figured I'd go ahead and knock that out. First, on the left side, you'll see I have a Pawnee 3300 by Kelty and a Coleman Max Day Pack slash Hydration Reservoir. I can do reviews on those if you ask. If not, you might be able to find a couple more reviews out there. I haven't seen a review of the Comanche, so kind of cool to be the first one to do a review on that. I think that may be because you can only get this pack at Gander Mountain. They have it on sale right now for $129. I picked it up for $109 because they had a special going. If you spend $100, you got $20 off. Thought it was an amazing steal. Picked it up. You might notice this pack is a lot like the Red Cloud. I think it's better than the Red Cloud. has a few features and improvements over the Red Cloud. We'll get into those. Now I'll go ahead and get my ugly mug on the camera. First you notice the look of this is a little different. It doesn't have that red or the blue. More of a camo color. I like that because I don't like to stand out when I'm out backpacking. I like to see the scenery and not become a part of it. Now we'll get to the features of the backpack. First we have uh, compression straps here and here. Then two on each side. Cinch those down pretty good. Then for uh, lashing gear to the outside, you got the daisy chain. And the ice axe here, you can put your trekking poles in. I don't do a lot of mountaineering, obviously. Then we also got lashing points on the bottom, here, here, and on the top, there, and there. Like that feature a lot. I haven't had to use it. But it's nice to know it's there. I feel the backpack has plenty of room inside. I currently have my uh, sleeping bag. It's a 20 degree in there. It only comes up to there, so I got all this extra room. Go through the pockets now. Um, each side is the same, so I'm just going to review one side of the backpack. We have the pocket here on the side. You'll notice that it's not that moon type zipper. It's right up the middle. I like that a lot. Access your gear, whatever you got in that pocket without having to dig through it. Also, you can have this zipped up and just fish around if you got something right at the top. Haven't had a problem with water. Zippers stay. Haven't had anything spilling out. I've only used this pack a couple times. Another feature I like is you got behind the pocket. You got where it flows all the way down. See, it goes behind there. Stick a gun, fishing pole, whatever you might want to put in there. Then also on the webbing here in the pocket. Notice that the center of it is the same material as the backpack. I like that a lot because you don't have to worry about your gun, fishing pole catching on this and ripping it up. It kind of protects it a little more. Then you can also stick it with these and you can cinch them down so whatever you got in there isn't shifting around. Go to the pockets on the back of the backpack. We have the one pocket here, right in the center. Just like the red cloud, I believe. Where they start to differ is right here. You open up this one, looks familiar, I know. Got the two pockets here, they're pretty deep. Then you got this pocket here. This one's made out of like fleece. It's Velcro. It doesn't open easily, so I like that. It's all fleece inside. I like to put my uh, valuables, like my cell phone, my GPS when I'm at camp, um, a watch maybe, anything I don't want to get all scratched up and messed up. Put that in there. That's pretty much that for the pocket, except for on the top. You got a pocket right here. Well, I guess I just zipped it. Pretty big pocket. A lot of backpacks will have a pocket here, and then one here on the top. I think that's kind of pointless because once you fill this one up, there's not a lot of room left in the other pocket. So they just got one big pocket in there. This is a fanny pack. It does detach. Another zipper has in there. Right there, a little pocket in there. If you're going on a day hike or whatever, you can stick your cell phone, your keys, anything you don't want to get stolen, lost, you want to keep with you. Kind of cool little feature. Also in this fanny pack, where I think is an improvement over the red cloud, instead of having the straps like this to detach and having to feed those through, instead you got the clips. Two clips. Attach it in your way. Come back, reattach it, and that's all you got to do. Real simple. Um, go ahead and go through the uh, suspension system here. 
We have two aluminum stays here. Those are removable so you can form fit them to your back. They already fit mine when I got it in. I'm a pretty big guy as you can see. I'm 5 foot 11. Um, 42 inch waist. This fits me with plenty of room to spare. So if you're even bigger than me it'll work. If you're even smaller it'll work. Has this uh, mesh here. Helps you back breathe. You're still going to sweat but it helps. A lot of padding here. Real strong. Going back to the suspension system. It's not like the cloud suspension system. This one has the cinch strap here for adjusting it up and down and tightening it up. And also it secures a little extra spot and Velcro both sides. It's very sturdy. It's not going anywhere. I like that a lot. Also has the handle loop. So you can just cart it around. I find myself using that a lot. Really cool feature. Seems like all the backpacks are putting that on there now. Um, we also got a lashing point here and here and then here and here. I got my camelback run through here. Has the uh, chest strap. A little difference here also is this is, rides up like that. A little more secure than I think the uh, like zipper type. I haven't found this one riding up on me or anything like that. I think that's pretty much it for the outside of the backpack. Except for on the nose and the hip belt. It does not have the zippers where you can have like a little pocket here. Not a major deal. Has this metal clip here. I hang a carabiner off that. Then anything I want to get access to, I can have like a little ditty bag or whatever. Um, really like the clips on the backpack. They're a lot more durable than some of the other ones, like on the Pawnee or the Coyote. They're they seem cheap, like real light duty. And these are heavy duty ones. Granted, I haven't had a problem with the clips on another backpack. It just seems like these might last a little longer. A lot tougher of a backpack. It seems like it take more of a beating. It is a large backpack, so it's the kind of pack you take for a week-long trip, or if you're going like during winter and you had to pack a lot of clothes, or if you're taking multiple people with you, like yeah, you're taking your son or something, you had to pack his gear in there. That's pretty much it for the outside of the pack. Yeah, that's it. We'll go ahead and do the inside here. Undo the two straps here. Now let's hear this pack gets really long if you had a lot of stuff. Um, I can't see needing that much stuff, but some people might. And we got a very large mouth, plenty of access in here. Like I showed you also in the front. You gain access to the inside of the pack. Has a zipper there. <clears throat> Has two cinching points on here. I don't really see the need for two. One fine. Big advantage of that I guess could be cinch both of them up. Helps protect rain from going in there. Or if you don't have a lot of gear in there you can just cinch it up right there. But if you have a lot of gear in there you can cinch it up here at the top. Inside the pack is another difference where I see over the red cloud. I hope you can see that on camera. Pretty much your standard inside except for where the uh, hydration bladder would go. This sleeve has a little clip here. I have it run through my camelback. Lock that in place so it ain't flopping around. You don't have a lot of water in there. It's not going forward. You don't have to worry about the uh, anything falling down these pockets. It keeps them cinched in. Um, I have my bladder coming out this side. But it does have spots on both sides. Clever little spigot there in case you forget what it's for. Um, I haven't had any problems fitting everything in there. I usually got room to spare. Granted, I don't use this pack a lot. Pretty much all I can think of on this backpack. Probably forgot stuff. Might annotate it later. That should do it. Um, like I said, you can only get this pack at Yander Mountain. I haven't seen it anywhere else. So I don't know how long it's going to be around for. I'd suggest picking it up now while you can. GanderMountain.com if you don't have a Gander Mountain store in your area. Um, I shop wherever I can. I'm not promoting Gander Mountain. Just the only place I've seen this. You can tell I'm wearing Cabela's hat. If you want to know about the hat, you can look at my uh, gear walkthrough. Figure out what happened with that one. That's pretty much do it.